of times that, that I get the urge to make a video and, and I think to myself, you know, my viewers are probably sick to death of seeing the same yard, the same background. You know, I don't, I'm not the most informative channel. I don't read you the owner's manual to everything and on a few times I carry y'all anywhere, y'all are just kind of long a little bit. I don't, I don't go down through the history and all of the details because I don't know all of it. But to me, it's just about an experience, and I, I, and I want to, you know, be able to deliver a little something interesting. Well, today we're doing things a little different. So today we're somewhere just a little different, and no, we are not in my backyard. As you might figure from looking at the sign, y'all, we have gone west for the first time in my life. I've never been, my wife and I have never been anywhere near the southwest and we are in New Mexico so like I said I'm not going to be reading you an owner's manual to a gun I'm probably not going to try to to be some historical authority but let's go into Lincoln New Mexico and see what's going on stay tuned y'all I know it's a it's an awful windy day you ever had deja vu? It's almost like I've been here before at this very moment doing this video. It's a windy day sitting here. And the door is locked. Well, sorry to say that the, the Tunstall store is closed. I can't believe we drove all the way from northwest Alabama and they closed the Tunstall store on us. There it is. doing a video from the loafers bench but a lot of post office traffic coming through here let's walk on down and see what else we can find it's gonna be like a short little video it's a hell of a long drive and a short ass video but we on the boardwalk in front of the tungsten store in downtown the bustling metropolis of Lincoln New Mexico stay tuned we're back of uh, well we're almost behind the site of the McSween house and the five day battle. And at the end of this little dry gulch, that water you see rolling down through there is the Rio Benito. Spoken like a true Alabama, the Rio Bonito. It's temporarily closed due to flood damage, even though I guess if there's water in it, that's flood stage for them. The Tunstall house was closed excuse me the Tunstall store I'm sorry the Tunstall store was closed and now that little trickle down there is apparently flood damage y'all I can't do nothing about the wind boys it's been windy ever since we got uh, this side of well since we got this side of Oklahoma we headed down to the the house however you want to look at it old jail courthouse and whatnot. Sure is a lot of neat structure here. But I am a little disappointed that so many things are closed. That Dr. Woods house is closed and the Tunstall store is closed. This this is on a Saturday. You know, I like how Lincoln has so much stuff. It's either genuine historic or, you know, a really good replica of something historic. But there's a lot of these buildings that are genuine from then. Anyway, I don't have the kind of uh, camera that has the stabilization stuff in it, so I'm not going to walk much with y'all. That's a whole lot familiar to y'all. If that were life size, he was he was pretty short, but I don't think he was that short. Of course, you know it's not blew up the full size. But anyway, why why am I doing this little snippet in the middle of whatever else you just saw? Hell, I don't know. Y'all not know I don't know how to make videos. <laughs> we'll try again in a minute though. Don't move it. So apparently. This is where uh, Billy and uh, Deputy Bell started descending this staircase 
And somewhere between here and the top of it was where everything changed on Billy's, for Billy's uh, last escape to take place. I think this is going to be bumpy as heck if I do this going up. See, y'all just bear with me. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I've read or seen on something that, that they found blood on these steps. It could very well be bells. And of course they claim that's a hole from the bullet. No idea if that's true or not. This is where Billy went out and, and uh, made his little speech or whatever he did and before he made his escape. Which means that right Hunter is the window from which he shot Bob Bollinger. Y'all, I would love to have that pot belly stove. That sucker is massive. That would put out some more heat. And there's another one. Man, we'd have a warm place if we had that. I'm not a very good tour guide, am I? Yeah, it's for the same reason I don't... Uh, do a whole lot of live streams because I really don't contrary to what y'all might think I don't really like to hear myself talk that much and I do a lot of rambling looking for something to say to try to justify your clicking on this and, and uh, following along with the goofy stuff I do but apparently right across Yunner's the Wortley Hotel where Bob had carried the other prisoners for the meal that day, and well, after Billy had, y'all know the story, why am I telling you, after Billy had uh, dispatched with Bell in whatever fashion he got a hold of his weapon, according to that marker, this is where Billy shot Bob Ollinger, and I don't figure he went too far, two loads of buckshot, point blank nearly looking down. I guarantee you gravity didn't slow the buckshot down. Like I said, not much of a tour guide, am I? Courtroom. It's one place I don't want to be in 2021, much less in 1870s and 18, early 1880s. out the back. There's little old caves and stuff up there. Why am I zooming in on hell I don't know. Ain't this something? Never thought to look up. The Honorable Mrs. Plyboard presiding, everybody please rise and Kiss your butts goodbye, because she ain't going to have no mercy on you. You're found guilty of a serious crime in her courtroom. She's going to make you drive 1,100 miles. Breakneck speed. <laughs> Arrow says this way, but I'm, I'm going this way. Old Armory. The marker where bait or bell may have died is outside this window. I figure, that's just a guess, that since this is the back of the courthouse, that just like the outhouse, the mo modern outhouse back there is out here is back there now. Probably the outhouse was behind her then too. And since we are technically in the armory, uh, and this is a gun channel, it appears to be sometimes a politics channel or a travel channel or whatever, today I am open 
been carrying the Summer Island five and a half inch artillery Force 45 Coke. You might ask why have we not seen me shoot this gun on camera yet and I'm already carrying it. First of all, I don't expect to have much problem in a long distance, so I'm not too worried about accuracy. And this, I'm not going to be like wherever they have here, pronghorn, whatever kind of, you know, New Mexico, Grizzlies, whatever the hell they have. I'm not going to be hunting at 200 yards making long shots, so I'm not really concerned. I know it's going to go off. Without that. So anyway, despite the irresponsibility of me bringing a gun to town, I have not tested on a carry trip with me. I only brought two. I brought the five and a half inch Cimarron artillery and in the vehicle is the 16 inch Rossi 92 Winchester 45 coat tracker, big loop tracker. I think that's good enough. Not much of Maybe I won't need it. Nobody ever see it other than me watching this. Am I in jail in Lincoln, New Mexico? No. Hopefully this is a view we will never, ever have. Either one of us. This is my sister. 